Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to briefly explore the nature and scope of civil rights and civil liberties in the United States. But let's start by differentiating between the two concepts. In the simplest terms, civil rights are the legal protections granted to individuals by the government to ensure equal treatment and prevent discrimination based on characteristics such as race, gender, religion, national origin, disability, or other protected characteristic. Civil rights laws, in other words, are designed to ensure that everyone has equal opportunities and protections under the law. Civil liberties, by contrast, are the basic freedoms and fundamental individual rights that are protected from infringement or interference by the government. They are inherent to individuals and cannot be unjustifiably taken away. In the United States, these include a number of constitutionally protected freedoms, such as the right to free speech, the right to bear arms, and the various criminal due process protections. In other words, civil rights focus on protecting individuals from discrimination and ensuring equal treatment in various aspects of public life, including employment, housing, education, voting, public accommodations, and so on, while civil liberties restrain government power, protecting individual autonomy and privacy from unnecessary government interference. Civil rights protect individuals from discrimination from the government, private businesses, and even other individuals. And because of this, civil liberties often focus on specific, historically marginalized groups such as racial minorities, women, or same-sex couples. By contrast, civil liberties protect individuals from the government. And because they normally require proactive attention by the government, for example, by passing legislation or prosecuting individuals that violate them, civil rights are thought to be positive rights. Civil liberties, on the other hand, are generally thought of as negative rights because they generally require restraint rather than action on the part of the state, limiting the ability of government to pursue a particular course of action that might violate them. The legal basis for civil rights is rooted primarily in laws and regulations, including constitutional amendments like the 14th Amendment, federal statutes like the Civil Rights Act of 1964, as well as court decisions. The legal basis for civil liberties, on the other hand, is found primarily in the protections afforded by the Constitution, and in particular by the Bill of Rights, which guarantees specific freedoms and protections such as freedom of speech, religion, press, assembly, and the right to privacy. Examples of civil rights might include freedom from discrimination, equal protection under the law, or the right to vote. Examples of civil liberties might include the right to free speech, the right to bear arms, or the right to privacy. But it's important to remember that the distinction between civil rights and civil liberties is not always clear-cut, and there are some cases where a law or policy can be seen as both a civil right and a civil liberty. For example, the right to education is often seen as a civil right, as it ensures that everyone has the opportunity to get an education regardless of their background. However, it can also be seen as a civil liberty, as it protects the individual's right to choose their own education. Similarly, due process rights can be viewed both as civil rights requiring that everyone is treated equally and there is no discrimination in the due process rights based on protected classes like race or gender, but it's also a civil liberty as it protects individuals from government undue or unjust interference in their lives. Ultimately, the difference between civil rights and civil liberties is in some cases a matter of degree. Civil rights tend to be more focused on ensuring equality while civil liberties tend to be more focused on protecting individual freedoms. But both are essential to a free and just society. And so in other videos, we're going to explore specific civil rights and civil liberties in greater detail. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.